Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Collins, world leading face yoga expert and best selling author. And over the last 18 years, I have been sharing natural, holistic techniques to help you look and feel the best version of yourself. And today is no exception because we are going to be talking about natural alternative to Botox and injectables. Now, first thing to say is I have nothing against Botox or injectables. Personally, I don't get them myself. I'm 41. I've never wanted wanted to go and get them. However, if you choose to do it, I am completely pro-choice. I think it's wonderful. We live in a world now where we can find out all the information about something and go into something fully informed and have our own choice about what we want to do with our own body. But if you are looking for a natural alternative, this is what I'm going to show you today. And if you have recently had Botox, you can still do these facial massage and facial exercises, but I would recommend waiting around four weeks before you go and do it and if you're unsure at all then go and check with your practitioner so let's get going with our first technique you want to have clean hands clean face apply a little bit of fusion by Danielle Collins moisturizing serum and just simply sweep outwards so really gently just moving outwards and you just want that little bit of glide there that's why it's good to have something like the Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturising Serum, which is all organic, vegan, credited by the Soil Association, and is free shipping to anywhere in the world. So let's talk about this technique. Probably one of my favourite techniques, you will see this a lot across all my YouTube channel and in both of my books as well. And this is a simple forehead massage. Now what we're doing here is we're starting to boost the blood circulation which is giving the skin a beautiful natural glow. But we're also starting to relax the frontalis muscle, that big muscle at the front of your forehead. And as you do that, you are less likely to raise the eyebrows and create those horizontal lines across this area because a relaxed frontalis muscle is a less overused and overstressed muscle. And you can get into the habit of using your eyes a little bit more. So each of the techniques I'm going to show you, ideally you want to do about one minute per day. That's sort of your rule of thumb, but always work to your own level with everything. If you need to go a little bit longer or you want to go a little bit less, that is absolutely fine. Okay, so really similar again, but this time you're going to take your two index fingers and you're going to do little zigzag motions across your eyebrow area, lift off. And again, this time we're going along the middle and lift off, then come all the way up and move across. So doing the same thing here, just repeating again. This is also helping to bring the fresh blood and oxygen and nutrients up to your skin surface, really working with that blood circulation as well as relaxing any stress and tension in your frontalis muscle. Let's do one more time. Again, if your arms or shoulders feel a bit tight or achy, in a moment we'll just release those, so don't worry. And try and think about your posture as well, lengthening your spine, relaxing your shoulders and breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Give your arms a little shake, give your shoulders just a little roll, give yourself a wiggle there, just making sure that you're not holding on to any stagnant energy. Okay, next one, we are going to place both of our hands on our forehead. You're gonna take your index fingers and just rest them gently just where your eyebrows are. And then you're just going to make your eyes wide as you can and focus on one point in front of you. So the reason your hands are here is just to really keep your forehead as still as possible and you're really working with expressing with your eye muscles and particularly your particularly your orbicularis oculi muscle, which runs all the way around the eye. So just close your eyes for a moment and then open again, doing the same thing, widening, retraining your face so that you express more with your eyes in day-to-day -day life and less with your forehead. This is going to really prevent those lines and wrinkles and prevent you having to go and get Botox. So just relaxing, close your eyes if you want to, shake out your arms if you want to there, release your shoulders, take a lovely deep breath in and a deep breath out. Remember, feeling good on the inside is what face yoga is all about. So we always want to just check in with ourselves throughout and after each technique. 
Okay, so now we're going to work just between the eyebrows, another real common area to get lines, but also for people to go and get Botox on. So natural alternative once again. Taking your finger into this little shape, coming here and just moving upwards. So really ground your feet on the floor now and just imagine roots from your feet all the way down to the earth center and then imagine a string or even a line of light going from the top of the head all the way to the ceiling so you're really feeling as though you're grounded and rooted but you're also lengthened and aligned as well and this is all going to just complement what you're doing here aesthetically but also help your well-being so let's go back to the aesthetic benefits for a moment this is relaxing your procerus muscle so that's a muscle between your eyebrows now you can do it with index finger we do that quite a lot but using the knuckle there you're just going a little bit deeper you're getting a bit of precision as well you may see like i have there a little bit of redness that's absolutely fine as long as it's never painful a little bit of pinkness or redness in the skin is absolutely fine you can notice here i'm just starting to just iron out any areas which I feel a bit of tension, any areas which I'm prone to little lines. I'm just starting to relax, really just nourish that area, fresh oxygen, fresh blood. And again, encouraging that muscle to not be used in day-to-day -day life. When we're stressed, when we're concentrating, when we're really thinking about something, we can pull that area in. And that causes those lines in that area. They're often called glabular lines. They're sometimes called number 11 lines. So really just preventing them through that one minute of massage. And then you can just place, just placing one finger there, and just breathe this is a really renowned acupressure point very very good for reducing stress it may help prevent headaches as well but also from an aesthetic point of view relaxing tension between the eyebrows and then you can just massage so just massage gently in one direction focusing in on your breath again inhale abdomen rises exhale abdomen lowers and then the other side gently moving round you're definitely going to have a little bit of redness or pinkness there afterwards which is a good indication yeah good indication that you've really brought up all the fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen is going to feed the skin but also a good sign that you've really relaxed your muscle as well okay so let's do one final technique for the forehead area as a nice natural alternative for botox you're going to take your fingers into fists you're going to come here you're going to move across you're going to come to the temples massage on the temples and lift off so smoothing across so you're ironing out any lines that are there already feeding them with that fresh blood if you're using a little bit of your fusion by Dania collins moisturizing serum you're helping that product get into the skin and not just sit on that top layer of skin not just sitting on the epidermis like lots of creams do but because the molecules are small enough they're just getting into that middle layer of skin where your collagen and elastin lie which is really going to help your, your skin to retain plumpness and firmness so if you do express with your eyebrows and raise your eyebrows up quite a lot you've got a little bit of that bounce back so the lines don't etch into the skin quite as deeply as they would if you weren't feeding the skin in the right way now doing that little massage there on the temples is just an extra little bonus just stimulating that point to help reduce stress but massaging across here is so lovely for helping to prevent those lines as well so once again really helping to relax that big frontalis muscle there deep breaths as you do this wonderful let's do one more coming across and bring your hands down and just lay your palms like this upwards on your lap now close your eyes take a deep breath in a long exhalation out feel grounded and settled to finish your class and if you'd like more information on face yoga you can go to faceyogaexpert.com have a wonderful day take care bye bye